No matter where the family goes, Carrie Pugh knows to have a certain something on hand. This is our coding system to make sure we give the junior size for my daughter and my son's allergy is so severe, his actually is an adult uh, level uh, EpiPen. In this case, it's on a ski trip. Both her kids are allergic to peanuts, something they found out as infants. I think what we also uh, need to think about is that this is a life long um, uh, relationship with EpiPen. Which she says means a lifelong relationship with budgeting for the medicine. She estimates they spend around $1,000 a year on it since they have to buy more when the auto injectors expire. I feel like we're lucky. I imagine that decisions like this for a lot of families, uh, especially ours it, when we were just starting out, it's the difference between, you know, do we go get tires for the car or do we go get EpiPens? A Democrat-backed bill introduced this session looks to cut those costs starting next year. Specifically, it would create a program that provides the pens at a, quote, low cost, or $60 maximum, depending on their insurance situation. For a family like Pew's, they believe that it would be a way to save money and put it towards other things. Money that we could use for our retirement or saving for our kids' college, um, reinvesting back into our local business. Now, there is some opposition to this bill, including from the Colorado Association of Health Plans. Their associate director told me tonight that they believe the bill does not address prices set by the drug manufacturers. They believe in the end that this could actually raise everyone's health uh, insurance premiums. Jenny, this bill passed committee unanimously today. It will, of course, have to go through both chambers to have a chance of becoming law. All right, Luis, thank you.